Hi, Coach Bill Shea, Committee to Compete. You know, as coaches, we should always be looking for different ways to connect. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three things that I think are important and good ways to connect with especially high school, high school guys, kids, okay? So the first thing that's important is you're honest. Okay, I mean, honesty is like the, the foundation of any relationship, right? So you have to be honest and the kids have to trust you. All right, so what you don't want to do is give a kid false hope. Make a promise you can't keep. Because once you do that and it doesn't come to fruition, then you're, you know, you're going to lose that kid. Yeah, you're going to lose that kid. So when I say be honest, let a kid honestly know where he is. Okay, you're, you're the eighth man. You're behind this guy. Here's what you need to do to get in the lineup. Okay? Or, hey, maybe this year is not your year. Hey, you're going to be on the JV this year. I want you to play more. I've done that often where I've had guys play more JV as juniors because they wouldn't play as much in the varsity. I want them playing. So I explained to them, look, I don't consider you a JV player, but I want you playing a half JV, getting out there and scoring, making plays, playing more, and then get you in the varsity game. So you explain that to a kid instead of just saying, you know, putting them on the JV. Okay, you explain exactly where he is, okay, and exactly how he can get to where he wants to go. Okay, so that's, that's the foundation of everything is, is to be honest with the players. Even if you got to tell them something they don't want to hear. Okay, you do it in a, in, a, in a way that, you know, when I used to tell some, somebody something they didn't want to hear, the first thing I would do is I would tell them what they're doing well. Okay, you, you know, you're practicing, you know, you come to practice every day, you're working hard. Okay, but, you know, if you want to play, you need to, you know, do A, B, C, that type of thing. Okay? So, be honest with, with your players. Second way to connect is talk to the kids about something other than hoop. All right? Get a little bit of information about each, each player. You should know, just talking to your players, what their interests are, what other sports they play. You might know, you know, make conversation away from basketball. It has nothing to do with basketball. Before practice, after practice. I mean, I would do that a lot. Like I would, you know, if, I, if a kid had a specially tough practice, you know, and I was on him hard, you know, I'd call him over after practice. I'd say, hey man, you know, sorry I had to get on you like that, but here's why. A, B, C, you didn't do this, you're not doing that, you gotta start doing this. And then you talk to him about, you know, something else that's going on. Is there something else going on? Is there something bothering? Is everything good? And then you, you, you show that you care about them because these kids have a lot of stuff going on, all right? So it might be something that, you know, is out of their control that's affecting them, all right? So in, in that way, you know, you get to learn more about your players. They feel a more personal connection to you when you talk to them about things other than basketball or whatever sport you are, you're coaching, okay? And the third thing you want to do is, and I think this is really powerful, okay, is admit to the kids when you're wrong. Okay, admit to the kids when you're wrong. You make a coach a mistake. No, no I'm not saying every mistake, obviously, because coaches, we make a lot of mistakes. And the good teams cover them up. And the not so good teams, they get exposed. Okay, but sometimes a game comes down to a decision. Do we press? Do we not press? Do we run the ball? Do we throw the ball? What do we do in this situation? And you make the wrong decision as a coach. Or not just a decision that doesn't work out, but you make a mistake. Okay, because sometimes you make the right decision that doesn't work out, but you make a mistake. When the game's over, you're like, damn, I should have I done the other thing. Tell your players that, man. That's a very powerful thing. Say, guys, I'm going to take, take this one. Because, you know, I sh at this point, here's why I did this. Here's why I should have done that. And, you know, that's my bad. And then the kids, you know, I've done that several times. I mean, you don't want to be, you know, saying you're wrong every day. But if you're wrong, I mean, they know it, right? If you make a, a mis if you make a coaching error, that's, you know, that's obvious. I mean, the kids know it. So why don't you just call yourself on it? When we would do film, right, before we would watch the film of a game, I would go through, I'd say, all right, I was thinking this in this situation, this in that situation. Here's what I did here. Here's what I was thinking there. You know, here's where I think I made a mistake. Here's what, what do you guys think? 
And that's how you get that communication going. That's how you get that connection going. Okay, I'm one of you. I, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect. And we're all trying to do our best. And when you can get that type of mentality on your team, and so when everyone's not, oh, he made a mistake and he made a mistake, and that's when the finger point starts. We're all gonna make mistakes, let's try to limit our mistakes. And I'm the coach and I'm not perfect. Because a lot of coaches, they're afraid to do that. They want to go, I'm not wrong, I'm not wrong. Well, sometimes you are wrong. When you're a coach, believe me, you're wrong plenty of times. And a lot of times a good players cover your ass, okay? So something to think about, admit to your team when you make a mistake. That was my fault. And when, you're, when you do that, that goes a long way with your credibility, with your players, okay? So remember those, remember those three things, that, three different ways that you can connect with your team. Let me know what your three ways are in the comments. Commit to compete, and I'll see you in the next video.